bundles back around the bundle that they're supposed to be on. And this is what, this is some of the stuff that people are doing down the manholes all the time. When you go by on the street, you never see this. And you notice now I've got a radio here. So I've got the radio playing. It's just like, it's like being at home. It's just like studying. Or like hanging around the house. You got the radio going, maybe working in a garage or something. So, at the end of the day, you get pretty greasy. So that's why we're these latex gloves. So most of the grease goes on those, and we can just throw them away. Because they're very slippery then. Okay. Hopefully, you can see what I'm doing here. I just got the camera sitting up there all by itself. And it's going to go down to the pump. The end of this here. Tighten it up. So. Okay. And there. See? I will know all the time what that cable is. But I still wipe off my hands even though I got gloves. <laughs> so this is life down a manhole. The only problem is it's a little bit too short because if I try to stand up in here, I don't know if you can see this, but so I can't really stand up completely, so it'd be better for a shorter person, I think. So what I do is I try to go over to where the manhole part is and uh, I can stand up over here. Where the manhole is, see the ceiling's only here, but I can, if I stand up in the manhole part, uh, then uh, I can put my head all the way up. Right? So here we are, this is it. That case there is kind of a different one. See, it goes up and down, and it's got yellow uh, on the bottom, and that's fiber, it's fiber optic. And it carries a lot of, a lot of computer stuff. All right. So there we are. There's the life in the manhole. It's all about being safe. We gotta be safe for us, which is why we have the gas detector. And we gotta be safe for the people out there. So we have a manhole guard so they don't fall down here. And everything upstairs is protected. Okay. So that's my. Uh, that's my job. Splicing all these telephone wires together and making sure that the phone gets from our office to your house. Okay, so now we're just going to go on up here. Have a look. Uh, what the world looks like. I guess this is what a gopher sees when he looks around from a manhole. Okay. Go for a hole. I think we're right at the ground level here. Yep. Just gotta climb up here. Alright. Well, that's what we have up top. There's the van. This is what most people you usually see when they see a telephone truck working on a manhole. Doesn't look like very much up here. Okay. I gotta go down now. Start working on those wires. Bye. Yeah. Sometimes the telephone office is the other end of this cable that I'm working on is down here. In the middle a bunch of townhouses in a parking garage. So I'm just gonna go ahead and have a look here. Should be Gabriel. Oh, <laughs> just doing a video documentary. Here. Oh yeah. yeah. If we're producing. So this is the other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is. What do you want me to do? 
this is going to be kid kid worthy, right? What's my motivation? This is a, what's your motivation? <laughs> You're a cable splicer. You want to find one pair out of that. And if you don't pick the right pair, that's it. Uh, what pair do you want? <laughs> 23. <laughs> well, this is the other end of the cable. It's coming from those holes that go out to the other one. He's actually looking for the right coffee. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do, doing work for Shaw. Well, you haven't seen enough holes yet? The cables? Hey. Well, I've seen a lot. It's just that the, the people I'm explaining it to have it. Oh, I see. Right? Yeah. Where you, where you, uh... This this here is fiber splicing, which is a little bit different, smaller. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a different and a machine. That little little box here does it all. Yeah, and it hooks the fibers together. I see the fiber splicer is important because all the heat is which one. Yeah. We're all set. Don't give away your secrets. Oh, I think we have a secret over here. Well, it's sure gotten to be a beautiful day outside here. It's beautiful, beautiful sky out here. Well, the problem is when you're down a manhole, you don't really see that until you come out for a while. So we just got a few other things to have a look at here. And show you down the manhole. See, we're gonna put the pylons out there, and so people don't trip over the cord. And there's a pipe. I don't know if you can see that coming off the exhaust pipe down here. That one, see, that's a little exhaust pipe. It takes the exhaust pipe around and faces it underneath the truck, so it goes out that way instead. Because over here is where the intake is. And that's pumping my fresh air into the manhole, so I don't want the exhaust to be going anywhere close to that. Okay, so we're going back down. I'm going to show you show you one more thing we're doing here. We're going to start connecting those cables up back down the hole. Oh, there's my feet in the manhole <laughs> and some of the cable there. Anyway. There's a little bit less water now than there was this morning. And I've been working away on this place here. Now, the thing is, we've got all those cables up here. They're all tied back nice and neat into groups of 25. So you like about this size here. It's about 20, 25, 25 phone lines. We just break them into smaller groups. Now, what we're going to do this machine here is going to make it so we can connect to to other cables with this 25 and we connect them 25 at a time when we go to connect up big cables so that's why we had to make them all into groups of 25 over here see okay so I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to we're going to have a machine that goes on top of this and I've just brought these cables around spread them out through those springs here the first ones. Now I'm going to clamp the machine on and then I'll show you what it looks like afterwards, okay? Okay. I don't know how well you guys will see this, but I'm going to try it here. Okay. This is the machine. It goes on top. I have a little plastic cap going on top of the wires here. So I'm going to put this machine on top and it's going to squeeze it. Squeeze it. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. <laughs> there you go. Life underground. Example. So we call these modular plugs. The modular connector. Okay, we are quick. That means it's done. So, release it. Get the machine off. Let's show you what we've got here. All these wires, they're all cut off now. Okay. All right. And. This is a nice connector that we have that's ready to connect to another cable in the future. On this cable, we're not going to use it right now. We're just going to put it down here, and we're going to do all of them that way. Okay, so it's going to take a little bit, a little bit of time because we got 1,800 pairs of wires to go through here. And while I got you there, I'm going to walk way back here, show you how big this manhole really is. 
I can't even go all the way back.